Today's reflection comes from Natalie Doherty, who is the Faith Development Officer with the Dublin Roman Catholic Archdiocese, working in the parishes of Kilnamanna, Castleview. The reading is from Matthew chapter 9, verses 35 to 38, and chapter 10, verse 1, and verses 6 to 8. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. He sent them out with the following instructions. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You receive without payment, give without payment. Now let's listen to Natalie. Hello and welcome to today's instalment of Walking Advent with the Scriptures. My name is Natalie and I am the Faith Development Worker in the Office of Evangelisation and Ecumenism within the Dublin Diocese. I am based out in the parish of Kilimana and Castleview in West Dublin. And I'd like to share a very brief moment with you on the Gospel for today. We now find ourselves a week into one of the strangest Advents of all time. All of our usual plans of family and friends gatherings are out the window. We're wondering, are we ever going to get sorted for Christmas with grocery shopping, to say the least? As we draw closer to Christmas, many of us are feeling that we can't do our usual traditions like we have, particularly those that we've done since childhood. Many of us are thinking about buying gifts for people and wondering how will we manage it, especially the way the shops are. Giving gifts will be one way to keep some form of normality this year. After all, it is a season of gift giving. We give gifts to others and we receive gifts from others. A gift doesn't have to be expensive to convey appreciation and regard. A lot of thought can go into a relatively inexpensive gift. There is something appropriate about giving and receiving gifts at this time of year because Christmas is the feast of God's gift to us, of his Son. St John puts it very simply in his Gospel today. God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son. At Christmas, we celebrate and give thanks for the most precious gift that God could have given us, the gift of his Son. At the end of today's Gospel reading, Jesus declares to his disciples, you received without charge. Jesus was God's free gift to us. Paul in his letter to the Romans speaks of the grace of God and the free gift of the one man, Jesus Christ. Paul is reminding us that we have been greatly graced by God through this gift of his son. God did not give us his son because we are deserving of him or because we have done something to earn it. Jesus is God's free gift to us. The only appropriate response to such an extraordinary gift is gratitude. This year we might be feeling ever more grateful for our family, friends, those we love most. The reality is we're also missing people greatly. We may have lost someone throughout this pandemic, but we are still grateful for the gift of their life for the time we were allowed to share with them, whether long or short. The feast of Christmas inspires us to be thankful to God for the many ways he has graced and blessed us through the gift of his son. Having been graced in this way, we are called to live out this grace. As Jesus says at the gospel reading, give without charge, give to each other as you have received from God. 
We are to give the Lord to each other by giving expression in our lives to his gracious and compassionate love.